everyone, I'm Elizabeth Harrin and today I want to talk about tracking time. Some people tell me that subject matter experts are more willing to devote time on projects if they can charge their time to it. And I think that's probably true, especially in companies where charging is part of the culture and part of the reward structure. So where your companies reward other people on their contributions, on teamwork, collaboration, then being able to cross charge another department for your time is probably not as important. So it's going to depend really on the culture of your organisation uh, as to whether or not your subject matter experts particularly care about being able to charge. And it can even vary between departments within an organisation. So the best thing to do if your subject matter experts seem a little bit reluctant to give you their time is to find out what works within your organisation and what you need to do to meet the cultural expectations and get the commitment required from the people that you need. Another question I'm often asked is, if you don't use timesheets, how can you track your actual hours against your budget? Now, it seems like a slightly odd question, really, to me, because if you don't use timesheets, you can't. If you are not tracking time, you, ca you can't accurately say where it's going. But if you aren't charging for your resources, then perhaps you don't need to. Because if you're a salaried member of staff and you're working five hours a day on the project or 15 hours a day, your, your cost to the company is the same. So whether or not timesheets are important depend, for your internal resources depends on whether or not you need to cross-charge other departments or whether they'll be charging you for the time that their resources spend on your projects. Something else I get asked is, how do you encourage everyone to record their time accurately? And this is a really big problem. People uh, work on multiple projects. It can be quite time consuming. I find this too, when you're working on several things and you're going through the day thinking, this meeting belonged to this project, but we spent 10 minutes talking about some other project. How do I record that on my timesheet? So it is really hard to do and I think the best approach is to make it as easy as possible. There's quite a lot of apps now and desktop widgets where you can just click to say what task you've started, click to say that you've finished it and that's pretty easy. It'll automatically update your timesheets if you put those integrations in place. I'm not sure that would really work for me still because I do find myself multitasking and flitting between things a lot. Um, so you just have to expect people to have a degree of honesty and also to fight against the urge for them to book more time to your project than they've actually done. Presenteeism is what it's called when people feel the need to be at work and to show that they're at work. And that can be uh, really damaging for individuals and for teams because people try to compete with each other and I've seen that happen. How, how many hours are you putting in? My timesheet says I only work seven hours a day. Oh, I must increase that to make it eight or nine and a half or whatever, just so that my boss thinks I'm doing a great job. So I think with all time tracking solutions, whether it's a widget, a timesheet, or just up against personalities in the team or the culture of your organization, it's not easy to get it right. And I imagine that you'll go through several iterations before you find something and a system that works really well for you. If you have any great suggestions about how you manage projects and time tracking for those projects, then by all means share them in the comments to this video. I've been Elizabeth Harrin from projectmanagement.com and the Money Files blog, and there's plenty more videos there about all aspects of project finances and budgeting, or you can search for Otterboss Group on YouTube and you can see all of my videos on that channel. Thanks for watching.